guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be doing a packing video this is the first video I guess in this series um, this year I think I'm going to be bringing to you guys a little travel series just showing you guys how I pack what I pack and what's necessary to pack for different occasions and situations and going with different people so if you guys have been following me for a while you know that every year we take an annual cabin trip clearly because it's annual and we do that for one of my friend's birthdays and it's always super fun it's just a big group of us and we have an amazing time just getting away from the city and the hustle and bustle of Atlanta going to the Blue Ridge Mountains and just being like immersed in a different type of environment doing different things I mean last year we took a nature hike won't be doing that again because I almost died with the altitude but it is nice just to take a little trip with people that you love and your friends and get away and play games and have fun and cook and just be like away from the normal routine but have a really great time so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm packing for my cabin trip I think it's very important when you're packing to be organized and methodical about things I always think about where I'm going the time of year and what I plan to do and also who I'm with and that is how I plan my trips uh, like I said this is something we do every year so I feel like every year I get better with packing and thinking about what we need. Now this is not a ski trip or anything but these are all the items that I would suggest taking for a cabin trip if you're going to the mountains but it's not going to be like snowy or anything. So if you'd like to see what I'm packing and all of my tips and tricks please keep okay, watching. Okay guys so these are the two bags that I am bringing for my cabin trip. We are going to the North Georgia mountains in Blue Ridge and so it's not that far from Atlanta so we will be driving so because of this I can pack a lot, but I've kind of consolidated all of my outfits to fit in these two carry-ons. This is my Ramoa Salsa Deluxe carry-on. I believe it's 21 inches. Um, it's kind of like this patent finish, but it's not patent leather. I love this suitcase. And this is my Louis Vuitton Discovery backpack in the Eclipse uh, monogram canvas. This is from the men's line. This is a PM size and it is perfect for travel. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing on my trip and then we will pack the items into these two carry-on pieces. Okay, so first I just want to give you guys an overview of all the things that I am packing for this trip. These are all of my items and then I will show you guys how I'm actually going to use my two carry-on pieces to fit all of my essentials. Okay, so the one thing I really love about this Ramoa cabin size carry-on luggage is that it's like a clamshell design. It has a hard exterior and it also has these compression compartments. So you pack your things into each side and then you can use this to kind of compress your garments, which I find to really be useful. So we are gonna be going for three nights and four days. So I have probably a lot packed just because we're gonna be lounging around all day. We might go on a hike. Don't know yet if I will be partaking in that, but it's pretty much just gonna be a bunch of us. It's like a couple's trip. Everyone is just gonna be hanging out and enjoying each other's company, playing games, eating, cooking, having fun. So nothing too, too fancy. I'm bringing two tank tops. These are like my everyday tank tops. These are by A New Day at Target. I absolutely love them. I wear them with leggings, jeans, everything. They're just my basic kind of like shell piece. I'm also bringing this hooded sweatshirt. You guys would have seen this in my January favorites. I'm bringing like a lot of sweatshirts, hoodies, and things like that because they're great layering pieces. It is going to be quite cold while we're there. I'm opting out of bringing a coat, so I'm dressing in layers. So the way I pack is I think of comfy clothes that I can wear around all day and layer as it gets colder or as it gets warmer. So this tank top will go nicely under this hooded crop sweatshirt. I'm also bringing a tie-dye shirt. This is from the brand Pink that will be perfect to wear with leggings just lounging around the house my adidas sst track jacket this is one of my favorite pieces ever that is a really great layering piece as well you can throw a tank under it you can put a t-shirt under it you can wear it outside you can wear it being active it's a really great piece i'm also bringing one sweater dress this is a thigh slit sweater dress. I'm wearing this the first day just because I want to be halfway cute and it's super, super comfy. It's a sweater dress. So I'm packing that. 
And then as far as bottoms, I'm bringing a pair of black Victoria's Secret sweatpants. These are great, once again, for lounging around. I can pair them with the tank top. I can pair them with the hoodie, the t-shirt, the track jacket, anything. It just makes for a really comfy outfit. Now, another pair of pants I'm bringing is actually a pair of leggings. These are my favorite leggings from the brand Ava and Vive. I take a 1X. These are my favorite leggings. They are not see-through. They're the perfect like rise. They fit so, so well and comfy. So I had to pick up another pair for my trip. And then besides that, I'm also bringing a workout outfit because we usually do go on a hike. Now last year, I was in the skinny legend and I almost had like an asthma attack, even though I don't have asthma. <laughs> but I almost like got taken out trying to walk up this really, really steep mountain to get back to the cabin. So I don't know if I'll be partaking in that, but I will be bringing a workout outfit. These are my Zella Live In Pocket Leggings. These are my favorite workout pants. So I'm packing those. I'm also bringing one of my Lululemon tank tops. Lululemon has my favorite workout tops. They are quite expensive, but it is so worth it to me. And then I have my sports bra. Now I'm gonna pack the sports bra on the other side just because it's a more bulky item. So now we're gonna start packing this other side. I have my pajamas. This is one of those Victoria's Secret cami and short sets. I love those to sleep in when I don't wanna be too hot. It is gonna be cold, but I hate wearing like actual long sleeve and long pant pajamas to bed. I'm more so like that for loungewear. A shower cap. There will be a hot tub at our cabin. And you guys, if you have long hair or hair that's natural and you straighten it, bring a shower cap because you think you're gonna wanna be cute and have your hair out in the hot tub, maybe up in a bun, but the precipitation will rise and fall, especially if the hot tub is outside. So bring a shower cap for that. I'm also bringing a swimsuit, I'm bringing two versions just in case I get in the hot tub twice. So I have my red bikini bottoms, I have my red bikini top, and then I have a leopard pair of bottoms. I'll put this under my bra. I'm also bringing two pairs of socks because I like being nice and comfy. I am bringing a pair of sneakers as well, so that will work out nicely. A workout hat just in case we go on a hike. Sometimes my hat tends to sweat and I don't want my hair to sweat out. I'm also bringing a hair clip. This is besides like my regular hair things that I'm bringing. Also a really nice warm infinity scarf. This is perfect for sitting around the fire pit. Our cabin will have a fire pit. So just wanna make sure I'm super, super comfy. Another necessity is a robe. You guys know I live for a good robe. You know, I like to bring a robe when I'm traveling and I'm gonna be around other people. You just like to be respectful if you're gonna have your pajamas on or if you're going to and from the bathroom, anything like that. Love a good robe. I thought of bringing a bathing suit cover up, but I think I'll just use my towel. So this is the towel I am bringing for the hot tub. I'm sure the cabin will have towels, but I like bringing my own towel just because I'm really OCD about the absorbency of my towels. So I am bringing a towel. I probably won't pack that in this luggage though. I always bring my travel laundry bag. If I can't find the same exact one, I will link a different one down below. And the last piece of clothing that I'm going to pack is the faux fur vest, darling. She has to be nice and luxurious when she's sitting out by the fire pit. Like I told you guys, I like to layer because I don't like getting really hot. So because I like to layer, I can wear anything under this fur vest and it will help keep me warm. So I will pack this and this takes up the majority of the space on this side. Now you guys will be able to see how these compression pieces work. They really just help to flatten your pieces so you can save on space. And then I would put my laundry bag into one of these mesh pockets. So now we have everything we need for the weekend in my carry-on. Now as far as my backpack goes, in here I like to have more of my delicate items. So my camera will go on here, which I'm filming on. Cabin trips are a great time to get some content in. I probably won't film any videos, but I will probably take some pictures 
um, for Instagram content. So I will have my camera in here. Not to mention my friend is a photographer, so he'll be getting some great shots of me as well. So I'm bringing my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. This has all of my skincare in it. So I have skincare. I have my favorite cleanser, which is the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly. I have a lip mask because the altitude probably will dry out my skin which means my lips will be dry as well. A sweatband for working out in case I work out, which I probably will. Some Aleve, you never know, you might need some meds, some floss, just, you know, all those toiletry items. So my toiletry bag will go inside. Then I also have my makeup bag. This is my Louis Vuitton Truce 23, I believe. And in here I just have a little bit of makeup. I am gonna go through this because you guys know I'm into makeup, but when I'm going on a cabin trip, I don't like to look too dolled up because like I said, we're gonna be lounging around for most of the day and it's really not necessary for me to have on a full face. But I am bringing a fragrance. This is one of my favorite, just everyday around the house type of fragrance. This is Layered's Enchanted Garden. It smells so beautiful, so light and sweet, perfect for a cabin trip. My Chanel lip gloss in 716. I'm bringing my NARS All Day Luminous in Tahoe in case I do wanna put on a little lightweight liquid foundation. But more than likely, I will be wearing my stick foundation from Lancome. This is the Taunt Edel Ultra Stick Foundation in 450 Neutral. I also have my ABH Dip Brow. It's always important for me to wear eyebrows even if I'm wearing a tiny bit of makeup. I have my Guerlain Bronzer in 05, my NARS Blush in the color Torrid, which is one of my favorites. And then I have a mascara. So that's more than likely all the makeup I'm bringing. I might wear a red lip there, but that's about it. The next thing I'm bringing is my iPad, just because when you take trips like this, sometimes you have downtime, or maybe like early in the morning or late at night, and you might wanna watch something on your iPad and not disturb other people. So I'm definitely going to be bringing my iPad. I will more than likely put my towel in my backpack along with my truce. And then the last thing that I will have to pack will be my handbag and that will be my Louis Vuitton duffel. Okay, so I know you guys are probably thinking, well, what about your shoes? <laughs> so these are gonna be pretty much the two shoes that I'm bringing. I might bring a pair of mini Uggs. They are purple. Uh, but really, my Ugg Scuffette slippers, these are perfect for a cabin trip because we'll most likely be lounging around in the house all day and these are comfy and they're super, super warm. And then the next pair I'll be bringing are my Balenciaga Speed Trainers. They're super cute. I will wear these the first day, but they're also really, really, really comfortable. They literally feel like you're walking on clouds. I can also wear these if I wanna do a couple workouts using my iPad during the day just to get some activity in. If I decide to do a hike, I will take my sneakers. So I'll probably bring my sneakers and leave them in the trunk of my car in case we do decide to do a hike. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have any comments or questions or if I left anything out. You guys know I'll be responding to you. And yeah, before this video goes up, you probably would have already seen pictures from the vacation on my Instagram. I probably won't do a vlog just because this is like really our time and I just really want to get away and not be focused on like working or filming or anything like that. But I will include some pictures on Instagram. So if you have not seen those, I will leave my Instagram down below. It's always down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.